and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm going to be telling you why I think Ryzen 2 is going to outsell Ryzen 1, or the original Ryzen CPUs. So I can't talk much about performance today, we can only sort of talk about the specs. Uh, I do have a 2700X versus 8700K video that will be ready for launch day, and so you guys will be able to see that showdown uh, once the NDA list. But today, I just wanted to talk about some of the specs and especially the pricing as to why I think Ryzen 2 is going to sell so well and better than the original Ryzen CPUs or Ryzen 1. So I've been running Tech Showdown now for over three years, and before that, I've been a PC enthusiast for oh, like over a decade now, a long time. And one of the things I've noticed, definitely since I started Tech Showdown, but even before that, is that one of the biggest factors that drives a sale in terms of what you may buy as a consumer when it comes to PC hardware is price. It's either the biggest factor or one of the biggest factors when you guys decide to buy, say, a new CPU. So w why is that? Well, obviously, you know, you can only buy what you can afford to pay for, but it's also how you yourself value different products. You know, you may pay eight hundred dollars uh, you know, five to eight hundred dollars, say, for a GPU because of the value it has and the performance it will give you. But with CPUs, you may only be willing to pay maybe three hundred dollars or something like that. So it's just depending on the product as to how much you may pay for it and all of that sort of thing. So with Ryzen 1, the original Ryzen CPUs, we saw that when they launched, they came with a, uh, I would say, a high price on some of them. Most of them were a little bit on the high side, but it was still competitive. However, as the life cycle went along, we saw those prices decrease quite significantly for a certain Ryzen CPUs. That's because of, well, there's multiple reasons, but one of the main ones is production efficiency and how the cost to make the CPUs uh, comes down as efficiency increases and, you know, with yields and things like that. Uh, I don't want to make that the topic of this video, but it, it, there's, a multiple, there's multiple reasons for why the price does decrease over time. Um, well, with Ryzen CPUs anyway. Uh, certain other company CPUs always seem to stay around the same price for its entire life cycle, but <laughs> that's another story. So today, let's talk about the Ryzen 1 versus Ryzen 2 CPUs in terms of their pricing. So let's start with the Ryzen 7 CPUs. So we see the 1800X, when it first launched, was a whopping 499 USD. But from there, you see it came all the way down to 319 USD, so that's quite a reduction. The 1700X started at 399 and that came down to 289 And the new 2700X, which is going to be the top Ryzen 7 CPU, that's going to be starting at 329 which is the same as what the 1700 started at. But then we saw that the 1700 decreased down to 275 So I think it's fair to assume that the 2700X is going to come down I think to maybe around what the 1700X sold for. Of course, it's a bit different this time. They're probably not going to be able to come down as far because I think, especially in the case of the 1800X, that was quite high by comparison. I mean, that was a pretty good profit margin AMD had there for sure. But uh, I still think it will come down over the uh, cycle of the, the life cycle of the CPU. So the 2700X will come down, but even at the price it's coming in at, that's a pretty good price, especially since it's coming with such a beefy cooler. Uh, and of course, you can also see that the clock speeds are up on the 2700X, which is what you would expect. Now, if we go to the uh, 2700, you see it's starting at 299 So it's $10 more than the 1700X at the end of its run. But it does have higher speeds on the top end, so that makes it a good deal. And of course, this 2700 will also come down from there. But you have to remember that with the 2700, you're only going to get the Wraith Spire CPU cooler, not uh, the Wraith Prism, the new very big one, RGB one. Uh, so that's also going to be a factor now. So that's talking about the Ryzen 7s, the originals and the new ones um, that are about to launch very, very soon. 
Now let's go over to the Ryzen 5s because the Ryzen 5 1600 was the most popular Ryzen CPU and the best value Ryzen CPU. But we'll start at the top end of the Ryzen 5s. So the 2600X is coming in with better top end speeds than the 1600X and is $229 when it comes out compared to the $249 for the 1600X when that came out. The 1600X though did come down to $199 and I think the 2600X will also come down to $199. I actually think it may actually come down a little bit more over the course of its lifespan. So that'll be interesting to see. But let's go down to the 2600 and the 1600. So the very popular 1600 uh, came in at $219. The 2600's coming in at $199. So it's going to be $20 cheaper on launch. However, the 1600 did come all the way down to $176 making it even better value for money than it was when it first launched. And I would imagine that the 2600 will also come down to around that amount, maybe even more uh, in, say, 6 to 12 months um, as the production ramps up and everything else, efficiency ramps up. Now, there is a big distinction this time around, though. The uh, 2600X is coming with the Wraith Spire, so the, the same one as the 2700, more or less. It just doesn't have the LEDs. And the 2600 is coming with the Wraith Stealth, which previously we only saw on the Ryzen 3s. This is a bit of a downgrade there because obviously the Spire is a much beefier cooler than the Stealth. But I don't think this is going to be as big of a deal as some people are making it out to be because you can easily get a Wraith Spire. Go into any PC store that builds custom computers and just ask. I can tell you guys, I've been behind the scenes. They usually have piles of these Wraith uh, spire coolers just sitting around stock coolers go in that you could probably get one for free if not they'll only charge you like a few dollars for it probably and you can pick one of those up and whack it on and problem solved obviously it'd be better if it already came with it but you can easily get around it and it won't matter anyway if you are planning on putting say a cheap 120 millimeter air cooler on it so you can get around it that way but overall, I think it means that the Ryzen 5 CPUs are going to be very good value and the new ones are going to be exceptionally good value, uh, except, uh, especially if we look at those clock speeds and the improvements there. So overall, what does this mean? Well, it means that the pricing on Ryzen 2 is already very good when we compare it to the original pricing of Ryzen 1. However, the prices of Ryzen 1 came down significantly over the course of its production cycle. And this will continue with Ryzen 2 and make them even better value for money than Ryzen 1 ever was, in my point of view. And what ultimately this means is AMD will keep continue to increase their market share, will continue to make more and more money, which is always a good thing for them. And uh, you will get better and better value for money when it comes to buying AMD CPUs. Because even right now at their launch prices, we can see that they are significantly less than the launch prices of Ryzen 1. And from here, I imagine it won't go down to the same degree. It won't be as huge of a drop, but they still will drop down over the production life. And uh, then you can get even better deals. But even right now at launch prices, I still think they're going to be very good value for money. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? How do you think the pricing matches up? with the previous generation Ryzen, Ryzen 1, compared to the specs and the pricing you've seen so far with Ryzen 2. I'd really like to know. As always, subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, so you catch my 2700X vs 8700K showdown as soon as it drops. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.